Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your own non-slip socks. So my kids recently got brand new socks and none of them came with any grips on the bottom. And I don't know about your kids, but my kids have my genetics and they are very clumsy. So socks like this do not mix well with my babies. So my sweet mother-in-law got me this sock stop paint from Joann's and I believe it was about $7.99. Um, but this is actually a German made sock paint. It's an anti-slip paint. And I'm going to show you how you can use it to make your own non-slip socks right at home. So you'll begin by making a cardboard cutout in the shape of the sock you're designing. You'll need cardboard or something similar, scissors, and a pencil for tracing. Just trace the sock you want to design, cut it out, and place it inside the sock. This will just ensure that your glue or paint does not leak through the sock and cause it to stick together on the inside. You'll definitely want to make at least two, but you can make as many of these as you need. Be sure to shake your sock paint really well before designing. Once it is shaken, you are ready to get started. Since it was my first time using the sock paint, I just went with a wavy line design, but you can get as creative as you'd like. You can apply as many coats as you need and then leave them in a safe place to dry overnight. So it is the next day and I wanted to show you all how the socks turned out. I'm sorry if you hear the dryer in the background, but here is how they look now that they have dried overnight. So not too bad. I ended up doing three coats of the glue. Um, I didn't really wait for the coats to dry fully before adding another one and they turned out pretty good. They look like they would really work. So I'm going to test them out on the floor and we will see if they actually are non-slip. So they actually worked really well on the floor. I'm really excited about how they turned out and I can't wait to try them out on my baby's feet. The instructions do say to wash them again after the glue has dried. Just make sure you turn them inside out first. And I don't think you should dry them in the dryer so I'm going to wash them and let them air dry and then I will test them out with my babies. 
overall I'm really happy with how it turned out and I feel like it's going to do its job so I'm really happy with that. I did want to let you know that I've seen other videos as well on puffy fabric paint and they've had great success with that as well so let me know if you try either of those options. I would love to know how it turns out for you. God bless you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye friends. Thank you.